What's going on everybody, it's Jay Wilson and I am standing in the new room that will hold the aquarium. So I'm gonna need your help in the comments below. Before we get to that, do me a favor, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe and the notification bell. It's a lot of stuff, bell. It's a lot of stuff, but you get it. So working on an idea of a paludarium on this wall, that's the TV. But as we walk in, do, 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 do. Here, I'll walk backwards. Got the two doors coming off the kitchen, fireplace, bang, large wall. I was thinking the ceilings aren't extremely high. The house is a little smaller than um, what I'm in currently, but this works very well and it's very close to my son. So I'm thinking Congo tank and Neptunian cube with the tank and Lincoln right there. Um, but tell me your thoughts. Desk would be in the middle, so for lives, you would see right behind me the massive Trophius Dardanai tank, just right there. Um, and then I could probably fit a shelf over here in the corner, got some area for the fish photos. And honestly, this space works really well because I'm going to be able to put all of my Ninja Turtles and collectibles and Deadpool stuff here. Also, I'm gonna be able to put some on the other side. So if you look, you got this one and this one. So it's, it really is well designed, right? Not too shabby. So I'm digging that, I like it. Um, I even can do, you know, Friday nights with Jay in front of the fireplace. Um, Liam's room will have his shrimp tank. I may revamp his shrimp tank though to make it a little bit better. I don't know if I absolutely love, love, love um, his shrimp tank in terms of the setup. I don't know where anything is in here, but they're coming to clean the house tomorrow and I get, well, I have the keys, but I'll be able to move in uh, the first. So going to be able to set up a really nice, cool room for him. And then I've got a additional bedroom, which will probably house the saltwater tank right here um, for a few weeks maybe uh, and then this will kind of be a guest area back over here so super pumped because as you walk into the house right here straight fire right there salt water tank I'm doing the water box uh, i'm thinking about drilling it so really really pumped about that um, i'm trying to think of what else i wanted to ask you so should the Tang Tang go here with all of the Trophias and Dardanai, or should I flip it to this wall where the Congo and Neptunian would go? Um, or I could put a Paludarium there and put the Neptunian, here, let me show you out here, on this massive wall. So I'd have to stand here so you can see how big this wall is. Right here, boom, straight across there. So I don't know. It's paludarium, everything's up in the air. Now let me go outside and show you this other thought that I had. Back door. So first off, she's gonna be paying rent if she's gonna be staying here. But I'm thinking right here is the pond, the cichlid pond. There's some nice shade to it. Um, yeah, look at it big enough up against the wall. I could do a really cool waterfall from Universal Rocks down into it, thinking of a nice face right here. So this is the perfect ideal spot because I have a power outlet right there that I can run to hook up the CJ Green Reset. And then, you know, the yards, the yards are nice. I mean, look, the idea was to move closer to my son and that's what I'm doing. And this house fits exactly what I need for right now, um, for what we need right now. And once that's all said and done, it poured out last night, you know, then I can go in and, and go after the home that I want to stay in. I can build a massive backyard playground and maybe potentially do a really well thought out recreational pond. So that's it. This is a one year as of right now, temporary domicile so that I don't have to put my son through eight hours in a weekend. So 
Um, I get them for a whole week. I'm so excited. It's Father's Day. This is like, this is a day. This is, you know, we could do women's empowerment. We can do all of those things every other day. But let this day be for the dads that are there, that are present. They could be stepdads. They could be, you know, fill-in dads. They can be biological dads. If they're present, they're active in their child's life in any way, shape, or form. Today is their day and just let them have that one day. Every other day could be women and raised by single moms and, and raised by single dads. But today is a day to cherish our fathers. And, and I, I wish my dad was around to see all of the amazing things that have transpired in my life um, and be there for some of the hardest things that I had to decide on. But that's not the case. And I can be thankful for all those great memories. So um, you got to do what you got to do today and every other day. But I heard something, and I'm gonna leave you with this, but they said something profound happens when you go for a walk with somebody, anybody, and you're quiet. One of two things happens. Either you go to their pace, or they go to your pace. You have to decide what pace you wanna be at. And if you're looking to achieve goals and to move further and to, to go after what it is that you've been visualizing, because visualization is very key in attaining that goal, whether it's athletically, it's financially, it's career-wise, it's a new home, it's a new car. You have to visualize it. You have to really, really almost taste it. But there are two speeds, two paces, yours or theirs. Decide. And if you decide on the one that is not yours, you have no reason to complain if you don't get there or it takes you much longer to get there. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your week. Seize every moment. Get up and attack the day with ferociousness. Yes. And if you want change, be the change. Stop complaining. Stop clackitying. Be the change. Show up and be that change you're looking to see. Thank you so much for watching. You know what's next. Hello.